Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a closer look at Harleen. This is by Stepan Sejic or Sage, however you say that. This is a story of basically the origin of Harley Quinn and it's in a really nice hardcover. This is a little bit wider than your sort of standard sized book. So I'll put this alongside here. You can see it kind of sticks out a bit. That's because it's the larger sort of issues that came from the, the black label books that they're now sort of doing this more sort of square book, which reminds me a lot more of the sort of European form factor. So if you look at something like Peter Pan and we pop this together, they're the same sort of trim of that overall. So I don't know if that was a deliberate thing that they're trying to copy that sort of European format or if they just think these books get a little bit more space um, on the page without taking up any more shelf space. But I've enjoyed the format overall and uh, as I say, because I've been reading European books and stuff recently anyway, it's not really sort of thrown me off. So let's take a, a sort of closer look at the, the book itself and um, we'll have a look at the art and things and then we can come back and discuss my thoughts on the sort of story overall. As I said before, this is a very similar size to the European sort of hardcovers and it's this more sort of square format overall, which is nice to see from a, a sort of American publisher. The cover here has a sort of plastic on it, so this sort of slides off and we, we see Harley below, which it's not really a, um, a sort of spoiler to the, the, the story or anything, but it's one of the last images you actually see in the book, so it's a little bit strange that they've got that as the, as the, the hardcover. Um, and then we've got the Joker and Harley at the back here, and just some sort of information and things about our careers. It says 17 plus on the back, so this is for mature readers. As with some of these other books, if there is sort of anything nudity or adult related, I will have rated the, the video 18 plus, so some people might not be able to get into this unless you've got a, a sort of YouTube account. I really love the, the art throughout, and there is a lot of text at times um, as well, but just a, a really fun story overall and really interesting use of the page. For instance, here you've got the greater kind of image going on between the Joker and Harley, and then all of her kind of previous thoughts going on in the background, which is really interesting and cool. They went for a strange kind of bat plane thing in this book. That's the one thing it did throw me a little bit, but uh, no, just, just a good fun, fun book. And I love the little kind of looks and stuff on the, the characters' faces as, as things kind of go on. We've got Hugo Strange here, and uh, this is Harvey Dent, I believe. Just awesome covers throughout. One thing I would say about the art is in some areas it feels like it's too sketchy around the, the edges, and it's almost like that's been left to make it feel rougher or to make it feel like a comic book because this is almost sort of photographic style kind of graphics um, and I think if you took away the, the black lines it would almost feel too sort of computer rendered in a way um, so I like, I like this. Um, at times it can kind of take me out of it, I'm like that looks a little bit off but I, I do like that sort of sketchiness overall to things and doesn't seem to affect faces too much so that's, that's pretty good. This is probably one of my favourite images in the book. It's pretty awesome. It reminds me of my uh, my Harley statue. Okay, I'm going to skip to the end of here so that we're not sort of spoiling it. And we'll just have a look at some of the sort of cover art. And so he's got his kind of creative process in the back, which was pretty cool to see. And there's some stuff here talking about... Uh, a short run he did in Suicide Squad. So 
So some nice extras in the back there, just kind of how he kind of creates the the kind of work, and it hints towards more coming. The first thing you'll probably have noticed in my closer look section is that this book is not a Harley Quinn story in the sense of she's in costume, running about, you know, doing sort of all sorts of hijinks. This is an origin story of how she becomes Harley Quinn and it's more of a psychological story around just Harley and the breaking point of where people lose their empathy or basically go insane. Like what, what, what is it that breaks that point? And is it something that was always built into all of us and we're just all acting sane? Um, or is it something that, you know, is done to us? And it's just kind of looking at that kind of area overall. We start out with Harley in um, a bad sort of dream situation and then we kind of jump back into the, the sort of story from there and we get a bit of her in, I think it's college, then going through um, sort of studies she's doing while working for a company all the way through to obviously her meeting up with Joker in Arkham Asylum, I believe. So it's an interesting arc and it's definitely a very good story. I would liken this to when I read Gotham Central, that Gotham Central is a story about the police force and it just so happens that they're in sort of a Batman superhero world and I would say that a lot of this has that same sort of elements. This reads a little bit at times like a horror story and when you see the kind of flashbacks or dreams or things that she has of say Batman or anything like that they're very sort of demonic and over sort of exaggerated and stuff like that and it makes things feel a lot darker, a lot more um, as if they're nightmares and that's an interesting again sort of look or uh, sort of filter that they're kind of putting on the story. It's really difficult to uh, review this book without spoiling the the, the book because the story's already been told a million times and anything that I'm telling you that he's done different is kind of getting into spoiler territory. Uh, what I would say is that his art is amazing throughout. I personally think that Harley looks a bit like every other female character that he draws. The male characters stand out really well but until you get the Harley Quinn moments, which are very few and far between. Harley herself, I mean she looks like Harley but she just looks like the way he draws every female face and it's just a little bit, for me, um, took me a little bit out of the story and I wasn't as kind of absorbed in because I'd be thinking oh that looks like that girl from Sunstone or something like that as I was kind of reading through it. Whereas the male characters, I couldn't really specifically pin them to anything. There was elements of things which looked like things he'd previously drawn, like uh, sort of green-haired characters in Aphrodite books. I'd say in overall the art was great and the costumes and everything is brilliant. Um, my only slight downside is I think he could differentiate female faces just a little bit more. Um, and I don't know if that's a personal choice or if that's something that you know, he struggles with as, a, as an artist, but when your entire book is as awesome art-wise as, as his is, um, that tiny sort of tibet I'm sure he's totally fine with. Um, overall, yeah, it's a great book though. It's, it's a great read. It's three issues, but they are the larger black label issues, and there are um, some sort of extras and stuff in the, the back. We've got this plastic sort of cover, um, which kind of you can see through and stuff, which you'll see in the closer look as well. And it's just a, a great book overall. Looking at the back, not to kind of um, jump too far kind of forward, but there are kind of insinuations that there are further books in the, the works, considering this one was in the works for a, a while. And the way that he does his kind of stories and books is that he would kind of write an outline of the overall story, maybe draw one picture from that and then extrapolate into some more pictures and then take each of those sort of shorter arcs and try and somewhat join them to create larger arcs. 
Um, it, it kind of talks about in the back of the book and says something you could read your, yourselves and have a bit of a, a kind of look at. But it was really interesting just to look at his method and, and how he's kind of going about that. And the fact that he's kind of doing it all himself allows him to take different kind of steps where he can do some writing, some art, and then some more writing, some art, and kind of mess it around rather than being an artist relying on a, a writer having a constant flow to you. Um, so I say, it's just an interesting kind of thing there. And it's the kind of thing that I like in the back of a book. You know, I don't need to have 14 different um, covers for the same issue. It's nice, but I'd much rather have something which tells me about how this book came to be or the creator or if there's going to be further books or you know that, that kind of stuff. So I can't recommend this enough it's been my highlight of the the month overall and I can only hope that he uh, brings out more going forward. Alright guys let me know below if you've picked this up in which format you have or if you're planning on picking it up in the future. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.